Welcome back everybody to episode three of From Combing to Closet. In this week's episode, we are going to talk about fiber processing. We're pretty excited to show you a little bit about what it means to get the fiber off of the musk oxen that we saw last week in the combing video and into your hands in the form of yarn and garments. So our fiber processing has been a journey. So we have the unusual problem of we are too small to be at a big commercial mill and we're too big to be at small mini mills. So as you're watching this video, you'll notice that some of the machinery might look like it's from a big mill, some of it might look good from a mini mills, and that's because over the years our fiber has been all over the place as we try to figure out where the perfect place to process our kibbutz is. And so just bear that in mind. So currently our fiber is processed in Fairbanks, Alaska, which made it a bit difficult for us to currently get up there and be able to film a whole piece about our fiber being processed through. Um, but we hope you'll enjoy this look at fiber processing for the muskox farm. So we've got all the fiber off the animals. It's all going into these bags. You've got all stitched up. We can get about 80 pounds of fiber if we really pack it into these things. And from here, it'll go to the spinner. So in this next little piece, what we're gonna to try to do is walk you through the spinning process. There's scouring and dehairing and carding and getting it all drafted out. And then it goes into spinning and plying. So we're gonna to try to get to you just a kind of a brief introduction to how the whole spinning process works. As it goes through, we're also going to, at the end, give you some nice links so that you can actually go in a little deeper if you want to. There's some great information out there and uh, just show you how the whole process works. So let's go take a look at spinning. As you saw, we pack it really tightly into those bags, so we need to get it fluffed up. This first stop at the mill, at the herring mill, is to get all that loosened back up and goes into this big, huge hopper. We're at the Cormatex deherring machine. Um, this is a scale much, much larger than a mini mill. So we're able to do an entire year's harvest in an afternoon rather than over the course of about the next year. This first part of the process is going into, onto this belt, there's a little nail sticking up and, and then a little beater at the top. And so what happens on this first part is it opens it up a little bit more. It also allows for the fiber to come down on the other side in a really uniform layer. And we're falling down onto the conveyor belt now. You can see it's a very, very even uniform layer that's gonna prevent any big clumps from going into this machine. Again, this is this Cormatex machine. It's 57 feet long. All those belts are driving pulleys at different rates to accomplish the goal of pulling out the guard hairs and any vegetable matter in the beginning and secondary fibers as it goes through the whole process gets us down to the very end here where we've got this incredible just fluffy cloud of 100% kivut fiber just almost defying gravity it is as light and fluffy as you could possibly imagine um, again the drops have come out in three different stages going in and at the end this is what we get this beautiful fiber So we just walk you through the deherring process on the Cormatex machine. It happens the same with a mini mill, just Cormatex does it all at once. With the mini mill, it's gonna go through multiple times to achieve the same thing. So when it first goes into the deherring, it starts going into this whole series of rollers and that's gonna grab a hold of the heavy guard hairs. This is the C drop. This is the first stuff that came out. You'll see this is almost entirely guard hair. There's a few little wisps of kivy in there, but they're probably really short. You're also going to see that there's a lot of what they would call VM or vegetable matter, which is industry way of saying grass or, you know, if there happens to be any little muskox turds in there, but this is where everything comes up. This is stuff that's really, you know, not going to be very useful. We've made um, rope rug out of this um, and there's people have wound it into to ropes, but pretty rough stuff here coming out of the machine. The second, um, set of rollers is going to give us our B drop. So you look at this, you're going to see that much more kibbutz. So this is going to have some, a lot of secondary fibers still, you know, a lot of these guard hairs that are going to be in there. 
a little more kivy, probably gonna be, you know, little teeny tufts of stuff that was super short fibers that were that's not gonna make it through dehairing. This is a, an interesting blend that we've used to make our bullpen blend yarn. Um, pretty coarse yarn. It's got a place in the world. It's um, People have had a lot of fun making it like the outside of a hat or um, some mittens with possibly even a cuff with 100%. So, and then what you're not seeing here is the A-drop and we don't have any because that's what we use for our, our blends. And the A-drop fiber is made it almost all the way through the herring process. These are gonna be the short fibers. Um, there's still gonna be a little bit of guard here and there and some secondary fibers, but it's not, didn't quite make prime to get all the way through the dehairing machine. And so we've used all that. That's gone into our blends. It makes a beautiful blend because it is a beautiful kibute, but it just doesn't have the length so that it can be spun into a strong fiber. So we have to blend it in order to give it the kind of the matrix to, to build the yarn upon. So the A's are just gonna be a much cleaner version. We go from the really coarse guard hairy stuff to much better to the beautiful A drop that comes in at the end. spinners but this is also what it looks like right before it goes into the spinning it's a uniform bit of fiber and so as it goes into the spinner it'll be set at a very specific tension and as it starts getting pulled out and goes into spinning that's how it starts turning into the yarn so we'll end up with a single ply of yarn that comes out of that and then a little bit later we'll look at some finished yarn and we'll even start pulling it down and looking at the plies that go into it here we are on the back side of the spinning machine coming out of those big barrels, different colors, and, and onto the spinner. You can see at the top there, it's wide, that's the roving. Spinning its way down into that single ply yarn. After that, it'll get plied into our normal two ply yarn. And after that, it's gonna be coming back to you in a beautiful skein. to admit that when it comes to combing a musk ox and taking care of them every day and keeping to our gentle handling techniques, we feel like we have a good grasp on it. And there is always something new that we can learn. However, we'll be the first to admit that fiber processing is something that we are continually learning about and won't call ourselves experts on. So please feel free to share your knowledge about fiber processing. We would love to be able to learn more about it from all of you guys, if you wanna share that in the comments. We're also going to be sharing a few links, so feel free to click on those. Uh, we've uh, found some really neat videos that go into even more depth of what we showed you here today. So for those of you who are interested in seeing a little bit more up close and personal of the process of what it means to get fiber processed in general at different mills, check out those links. Um, thanks again for tuning in to episode three. Um, just wanted to remind you all, if you're just joining us for this episode, this is part of a four part series. And so our first episode was all about herding our animals, getting them into the barn um, and seeing what that process looks like. And then the second episode was all about combing. And then this is the third episode. We've got one more to go, which will um, air next week, Friday at 4 p.m. Um, and that's all, gonna be all about the finished product. We're gonna go a little bit into more depth about our yarn and garments so we're really excited about that to kind of round it out and then tune in um, for a special live event on may 23rd it's the saturday after the final episode airs at 10 a.m alaska time um, we're going to go live here from the farm kind of do a recap of everything that you've seen in this um, awesome series that we've been really excited to bring to you and at the end of that episode we are going to release a really special uh Kivute discount code for those of you who would like to get yourself some Kivute in our online shop. And so we're look, really looking forward to all of that. So thanks again for tuning in. Mm -hmm.